G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at a way of multiplying all sorts of different numbers using approximation, using an estimation, using a uh, number of different uh, reference numbers that we'll be able to work out as we go. Okay, so I will warn you with this, there are multiple steps in this which might seem a little bit disjointed at the start, but you will get used to the pattern when you are doing these, okay? So bear with us, go through a few examples before you uh, give up on this, okay? So I'm going to give you an example here. Say I ask you to work out 8 times 38. Okay, so 8 times 38, and I'm going to use the estimation here. So if we were to estimate a number that this is close to. The number that this is close to that's a nice number is 10. And the number that's close to this, which is a nice easy number, is 40. Now, just going to give you a bit of a pre-warning with these, and you're going to see these in the examples, and you'll get better and better at doing these when you do these. You're going to notice that the numbers we've also got here are also, uh, they have common factors here. This number here goes into 40 quite nicely and that's important when we're doing these it's it's really good to choose a number where this number goes into this number if you can do that okay so that's the first thing we'll get back to those I think we'll worry about those a little bit more later on so this here is very very close to 10 okay I'm going to put some numbers in brackets over here 10 which represents this 10 here and this 40 is the same as 10 times 4 okay we all good so far? So that's the, that's the first step, just getting these, these parts here, our approximation. So now I'm going to see how far each one of our numbers is from the approximate value, from our estimation. So this 8 here is 2 away, is 2 less than 10. This 40 here is 2 less than 10 also. Okay, we'll keep those down there. They're a couple of important numbers for us. The other things we're going to be working out is, and this is a bit. This seems like a bit of a strange step. Is I'm going to work out a third reference number, a third number here, which I'm going to get by multiplying this number here, the four here, and the minus two. So four times minus two is minus eight. Okay. Now we're all almost set up to actually work these out. The way we do this now is we're going to go this number here, this thirty-eight. And we're going to take, we're going to diagonally take off this number here, okay? This is 38 take away 8, which is 30. And we're going to times it by this number over here now, okay? I know there seems to be steps going everywhere, but a few times you'll get used to this. So 38 take away 8 is 30 times, uh, uh, times 10 is 300, okay? The last step we do, that's the first part of our answer. The last thing we do to get the second part of our answer is we just multiply these two numbers. Minus 2 times minus 2, which is 4, and we add them on over here. So we get our final answer of 304. So how was that okay? It might seem a little bit confusing. None of the actual parts were that hard, but it's just remembering the order in which to do them, okay? And they're not too bad. Once you do them a few times, you'll pick them up fairly quickly. First, what we did is we got this 10 times 4 part, Okay, we took these away, we then multiplied these two to get this number here, and we took this off here. Okay, and almost in the same step, we just multiply this by the 10 here, you get the 300, and then we get our part here. Okay, there's lots of little steps, but they're not too bad. Okay, and you will get fa further, uh, faster and faster and faster doing this. So what about I give you another example to work through? Don't get too despondent yet if you're, you're still scratching your head a little bit, okay? I'll give you another example. So say I was asking what seven times, a uh, nice easy example again, what about 48 is. Okay, you're going to see that this is very close here to 10. This one here is close to 50. Okay, so this, with the numbers we're going to be using over here are going to be 10. And you're probably going to guess this bit, times 5, yeah. Okay, put those in brackets. And now let's work out all our little numbers down here. So this is 3 away from 10. This one is 2 less than 50. Now what we do to get the second number is, this third number I mean, is we multiply these two numbers. So 
through it, minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. And we're now, we're going to take this off, this number here. 48, take away 15, is 33. Times 10, our answer is 330. And we're going to, minus 3 times minus 2 is 6, so we're going to add that on, we're going to get the answer of 336. How'd you go with that? Were you, get, were you a little bit better with that? Did you remember a few of those steps? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go some more of these. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a variation of this up, and then we're going to get to some harder questions, okay? Where you'll be really astounded how to do these, okay? And some variances with these. So say I was now going to go instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do 7 times 62. Now, what you're going to notice with this is, yeah, we, okay, we approximate once again that this is a 10 and that this is a 60. So we're going to end up with... Okay, uh, getting much faster this now. We're going to end up with 10 times 6 over here, yeah? Now what you're going to see is, this is 3 less, but this 60 is actually, 62 is actually 2 more than 60, okay? So we've actually got a plus 2 here, alright? Well, we'll deal with that. It's just, we're just going to deal with it a little bit differently. So to get this next number, we multiply these. 6 times minus 3 is minus 18, and we take this now from 62. Okay, 62 minus 18 is 44. Okay, we times it by here, we get 440. Okay, last of all, we have minus 3 times positive 2. Now, the answer to that is minus 6. Okay, so we don't add 6 on this time, we take it away. So if we take 6 away from our answer here, what we're going to get is we're going to get the answer of 434. Okay, pretty cool, right? All right, now let's get to some bigger examples of these. What about what we do now is we'll start looking at, what about, okay, what about things that don't go into 10? What about I do 18 times 77? Okay, 18 times 77, and this is much closer to, say, 20 times 80. Yeah? So we're going to treat this a slight bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to treat this like, okay, because 20 goes into 80, it's all well and nice. There's a reason I didn't choose 20 and 70, okay, because 20 because 20 goes into 80, so 80 is a good one to choose. Like I said, you want this, this number here to go into this number here. Okay, so we're going to end up with 20 times 4. And so this particular step here is the reason we want this number here to go into this number here, so we can get this proper part of the equation here, okay? So, this here is 2 less, this here is 3 less. Okay, pretty good so far. Uh, to get that third number, this number times this number is minus 8, minus, uh, that's 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. So now we're going to take this off. We're going to end up with 77 take away 8, which is 69, and I'm going to times it by this number here. So 69, double this, or times 20, and we're going to end up with 138. But because it's 20, we're going to end a 0 on this. Okay, this take away this was 69, so 69, I'm timesing by 2, and getting 138, but we're timesing by 20, so I'm getting 1380. To get the last part, minus 2 times minus 3, this is 6. Okay, so we're going to add 6 onto our answer. We're going to get the answer of 1386. Okay, what about we do another one of these, and then I'm going to get to an even more ridiculous example. Okay, what about we do... Um, oh, here we go. We'll do 16 times 68. Okay, this is closer to 70, isn't it? So we could... This one you might be tempted to say, okay, let's call this one here, you might call it 10 or you might call it 20. I'll tell you what, I might call it, uh, I might call it 20. Okay, this one here, you might call, uh, it's not going to be called 70 because 7, 20 doesn't go into 70, we call it 80. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're now going to get how far things are. Well, actually, better first to write our things over here, we're going to end up with 20 and to get to 20 to 80, we're going to times 4. So 20 times 4. Okay, let's do this now. All right. Um, this is 4 less. This one here is 
12 less. Okay, let's now go to this next step. Um, this was these two times one another, 4 times minus 4, which is minus 16. So I'm going to take 16 of 68 here, minus 16 and 68, I'm going to get the answer of 52. Okay, 52, I double it, I'm going to get the answer of 100 and 4. Okay, but this is by 20, so 1040. Next, the last step, we're just going to add, well, what, 4 times minus, minus 4 times minus 12, which is 48, so I'm going to add that on. We get the answer, if I add 48 on, of 1088. Alternatively, what you could do with this is you could have attacked this a little bit better, a little bit differently. I'll, what I'll do is I'll keep that 1088, I'll jot that up here again, and we'll see what would have happened if we had it done it slightly differently. We could have actually done this, and you might think, yeah, we could have done this so this was a 10, and this one could be 70. Okay, so this would be the same as 10 times 7 here. Okay, this is 6 more. This one here is 2, okay, this one here is 2 less. In fact, you might even find that easier to turn that into a 60, because then you're not taking it away. Okay, but um, this one here is 2 less. Okay, so what do we get? This one times this, 6 times 7 is 42. That's plus 42. Okay, so let's add these on. Uh, 42 plus 68 is 1,100. Well, that's 110, but then times 10 is 1,100. And we're going to... 6 times minus 2 is 12. We're going to take away. We end up with this answer again, 1,000. Okay, minus 12, which is 1,088. Okay, alternatively, yes, you might have actually called this 60, and you might have called this plus 8, and you'll get the same answer. Okay, what about we do a harder example now, an even harder one? Okay, what about we go right out and we do, say, something like 97 times uh, 489. 489, let's do this one. So, if we were to do this, this is approximately 100. This one here, let's call 500. Okay, so we're going to end up with, in here, 100 times 5. Alright, this is 3 less, this one here is 11 less. Okay, so, what do we do now? We go, uh, this one times this one. Okay, minus 15, and we're going to take this off this number here, 489, take away 15. The answer to that is going to be 474. But then we'd times it by 100, wouldn't we? So we would do that, and we times it by 100, just put a couple of zeros there. Then 3 times 11, 33, we're going to add that on. Okay, so our answer is going to be 474, 33. Pretty cool, right? This one's a real party trick one, this one. Um, okay, now I'm just going to give you guys a couple of examples that you can do by yourself. Hopefully you're getting the hang of those, okay? As you'll see, you just start to get faster and faster and faster and faster at doing them. So, what about a uh, nice easy one to start off with? I'll get you to do 13 times 52. And then we'll go on to... Uh, we'll, we'll do this one first, so give this one a go. <laughs> Not going to have enough working out space otherwise. Okay, this one here, you can probably even hit that stage, you probably don't need to write this bit down anymore. You might just say this is 3, uh, what am I doing? It's not 3, it's <laughs> 10 times 5 in brackets. Alright, um, I'll move that so I have a bit of space there. We have 10 times 5. And now we, what we do is we see how far this is from 10. This is 3 more. And this one here is 2 less. Oh, what am I doing? This is 3 more. This is 2 more. Okay. Maybe I should have been putting those particular things up there. 3 times 5 is 15. So we're going to end up with plus 15. And now we take this off. 52 take away 15. We're going to get the answer of uh, 52 plus 15, we're going to get the answer of 67. 
okay this is times 10 but rather than actually write anything down here I'm just gonna have a quick look at this this is 3 times 2 this is 6 so once I add this 6 on here I'm gonna have my answer aren't I okay that was a pretty badly done one that one I apologize for that hopefully you did it much better than I did um, okay what about a different one what about we do 23 times 126 okay this one here you might be thinking okay 20 and this one here you might think okay 20 and 120 is a good number because 20 goes into 120 so let's do this as 20 times 6 yeah 20 times 6 is 120 so this one is 3 more this one here is 6 more hey hopefully you're doing these <laughs> then 6 times 3 is 18 plus 18 so I'm going to add 18 to 126 here so if I add 18 to 126 I'm going to get the answer of 144 and I'll put that one down there and I'm going to times that by 20 so I'm going to get this answer of 288 doubling numbers is so easy isn't it 288 but this is by 20 so 2880 and to that I'm going to add 6 times 3 which is 18 so if I add 18 to this, I'm going to get the grand total of 2,896. That, 18? 98. Ah, there you go. I'm going to rub that out so it looks, looks nicer. <laughs> 2,898. Don't know why I added 16 to it. 6 threes are 18, okay? So, what about one ridiculous example here? always love the ridiculous example or the ridiculous one that you can do what about you do this one 105 times 612 okay nice big one hopefully you're giving it a go okay this one's almost 100 this one's almost 600 in fact we're going to make this one here 100 as you can guess times 6 all right so this is 5 more this is 12 more Okay, 6 times 5 is 30. Positive 30. And we're going to add these together. We're going to get the answer of that plus that is going to be 642. And then I'm going to times it by 100. So I'm going to get 642 with a couple of spaces there where I'd put zeros usually. But I'm more interested now what's going on over here, which is 12 times 5, which is 30. So I can just slot those straight in. 6, 4, oh, what am I saying? That's 60. Oh, I'm losing the plot at the moment. Okay. <laughs> yes, in the alternative reality, 5 times 12 is 30. But today we'll actually call it 60, what it actually is. Okay, so we're going to add 60. All right. Anyway, hopefully that was of some help for you. Um, and hopefully you didn't make as many mistakes as I tended to make today. Oh, I managed to catch myself in time. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye.